Hello everyone, this is Miss Shepherd, and I want to show you an easy way to find sources through UC Claremont's library and also an easy way to cite those sources. So first of all, go to the UC Claremont homepage and then go to library. And then from there, under find information, go to databases. And then I like to go here to academic search complete. All right, I think this database is very easy to use. Um, you can generally find great sources through this database, and I think it's just a great option. So first, go ahead and put in your search terms. So I'm gonna choose social media, and then search. All right, and so then I have 39,000 results. So I'm going to narrow that a bit. So I'm gonna go over here to limit to linked full text. And that means I will be able to actually read the entire text and it won't just show me um, the abstract. And then I can also limit it by publication date. So if I'm writing about social media, I want something that's more recent. So I'm going to limit this to, let's say, 2012. All right, and then I can also limit by source types. So we have academic journals, magazines, trade publication, newspapers, and book reviews. I'm going to limit it to academic journals so I can get my scholarly sources and magazines so I can also get some quality popular sources. All right, so then I'm just gonna click on a source that I'm interested in. So go ahead and click on the title and scroll down and you can see the abstract here. And the abstract lets you know what the essay or article is about. And if you're interested in it, then you can go from there. So from there, I can access the PDF full text. And I can read the whole article. I can download the PDF if I want to. I can print it and so on. So then from there, I can also do some other things. So there are all these icons on the right side of the page, and this is what I really like about Academic Search Complete. So I can print it. I can email a link to this article to myself. And right down here, I can cite it. So if you click on Cite, scroll down to MLA, and then you can just copy and paste this citation and put it on your Works Cited page. And that's really easy. This is probably my favorite thing about Academic Search Complete. Another option here is the permalink. And so if you click here, then you get this permalink at the top of the page. And this permalink lets you access this article, even if you're not on UC servers. Because um, generally, if you were going to try to access this article through the URL address, it wouldn't work if you weren't logged into UC servers. So you can use the permalink whether you're on campus or not. You can send the permalink to a friend and they can open this essay, this article as well. So this is a great tool. Um, I hope you do decide to use this tool in your final essay and in future essays for your other classes. Thanks a lot.